Okay guys, uh, as you know, deer season is over in West Virginia, which means for us, trapping season. We plan on making a video every day for you guys of us checking the traps, no matter if we get something or not. But, uh, you know, we're going to go up here, set traps, and uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll have something in there. I doubt it, because it usually takes a couple days, but... <clears throat> There we go. We're all prepared. Got the bait and everything. All the traps. Chainsaw just in case. Lures. Let's go. What you got in there? Uh, anchors. Wire. Got the trap. Slinging the trap. Got the old trap. Foothold. We're going to set a foothold up here. I don't know if you guys seen us hunt up here. I don't think you did, but we did a couple times. And uh, we didn't see anything, so you guys probably didn't see us. But uh, we're gonna set a trap out here. We got a camera up there somewhere. And there's been stuff on it, so. A couple coyotes, maybe a bobcat. So hopefully we'll there's actually looking to catch them. black possum here that I really wanna catch that I've had pictures of since I put the camera here. So uh, hopefully we catch him. I just wanna see him. You put a new anchor on it. Yeah, I'm gonna put the pipeline special on there. Huh? Put pipeline special on there. <laughs> Trading out the old anchor. That anchor's a little old. We're putting a new anchor on. If you guys don't know what these anchors do, they basically just go in the ground like so, like straight down. Then when you pull them, you pull on them a little bit, they twist like this so they won't come out of the ground. So basically when you pull, when you put an anchor in the ground, you ain't getting it back out. Unless you dig it up. So uh, that's just to hold the trap in as if you have an animal that's trying to get out, he doesn't run away with your trap. Well guys, we think we found the first uh, place we're going to put one here. This is a... Uh, this is kind of the stuff you're looking for, like maybe like a pee post or something for a bobcat, or just, you know, in a tight spot somewhere. See here in a minute, guys, that <clears throat> we'll dig our bait hole right, right up here, so when they come to put their noses in, the smell right there, the trap's going to be right here and they'll step on it. So you always leave the trap out a little bit from your bait hole, or wherever you put your scent at. You just pound these anchors in the ground here. Get them a good distance in there. Just pull that out. Yank on the trap a good bit. Make sure she's set. She ain't going nowhere. And boom, you officially set a trap. Wow. It's a lot of room. Yeah, that is a lot of room. Now that the trap is sitting there and they're good, we'll dig our bait hole here. Just literally just a simple hole right back here. We'll throw all kinds of bait and stuff in it. That's our bait stuff right there. You don't want to open up that lid right now. But we're going to. Stinky. I know you guys didn't get to see it because me and Abe had to set the trap together, but there's the trap set. As you can see, the slightest pressure. This is the loose, loose end. You just flip this over, you're kind of safe. But uh, this is obviously the tension end. You press on that pressure plate right there, releases that pin right there, and that trap flips up and closes together. It flips these brackets up, which pinches the teeth together. So hopefully we can get a hold of something. Okay guys, I kind of set these sticks up here so these animals didn't come around right here and step 
right here. So step in there, just sniff there. So I kind of sit them sticks there. I know it's kind of obvious, but they don't notice. Yeah, so it's actually set now. We got this stick here so they don't step there. We got this front guard stick here so they don't step here. They have to step in the trap. It's these sticks here so they don't come around. Cover it up a little bit, put some scent on it. I know we kind of like, we usually have peat moss. Just I, hopefully you guys know what peat moss is. We can throw in the traps and just pat it down. Looks like nothing ever happened. But uh, we don't have some right now. We'll pick up some tomorrow, hopefully. It's not supposed to be cold for a couple days. So it's not like this stuff that's right here will freeze the dirt that we actually pick up from the ground. Peat it's moss is actually supposed to help it from freezing too, so that's good. Now we're gonna open up the old lure bait. Mm. Yummy. You guys should smell this right now. Tell you what, if I was a freaking bobcat, I'd jump right in there. This is the kind of stuff we're looking at right now. Yeah, you guys. Mm. Peanut butter and jelly. I don't think that's peanut butter and jelly. I don't either. That's the good stuff right there. Can't even get it open. Is that skunk? No, it's cat piss. Oh yeah, even get better. Use a little bit of a stick, dip it down in there so you don't have to dump it all out. It's a very little bottle. You don't need much at no, all. That little bit that's right there on it, they will be able to smell miles away. Fine. Best thing, I thought this was the cat piss. Uh, this, is, this is like the cat piss mis mixed with other stuff. That's the straight cat piss. This, yeah, this yeah. is. We got some other stuff in there. Throw some skunky stuff in there. I don't remember what this is. I don't even want to know. <sighs> what is it? I don't know. A ball of dog poop. Okay, throw it in there. <laughs> Probably some kind of mixture of dead animal. Uh, who knows? Right there, oh gosh, yeah. Put. You got that Vaseline and skunk mix. I think that's what this stuff is. The peanut butter and jelly stuff. <laughs> now this is like the stuff that's like uh, gonna be their visual. This looks like chunks of uh, rotten meat. It's kind of a visual, mostly scent, but. Yeah, but whenever they walk by and they're looking at it, they'll be able to see this stuff right here. It's like on some sets we'll use like uh, squirrel fur Stuff like that. There's a little bit of hair in it. Oh god. Just to let you guys know this stuff does not smell good. As you can tell by looking at the cans. Yeah. Whew. <laughs> oh my god. Where's she at? Where's the good stuff? This is the actual like chunk of meat right here. Yeah. That's the same stuff that's in that little jar. That's just a bigger. That's empty. That's the same stuff. That's what we always catch. Oh, Q-tips. We need Q-tips for. 
what you're supposed to <laughs> pick that stuff out with, but just use a stick. Well, that's first set. Six more to go. Well, guys, here's the second spot. Uh, me and Abe have caught just about everything here. So. This has been a good spot for the last couple of years. So, of course, we're going to come right back to it. I think she's good now. Beat her clear down in there. We're down in a rock now. She locked in. Did she set? Yep. Maybe. I pulled her clear out, but she set. Yeah, I can't put one there. That ain't good. This is our favorite spot. We move the... Well, guys, we moved the trap over about two inches and... The dirt's not nearly as muddy, so hopefully this one will stick, and it probably will. So we didn't. We thought we were gonna have to cut our losses and pack her up, but I think we're good. Oh yeah. We think this one's probably gonna stay. Maybe just a little bit. So yeah. She's probably pretty good. She ain't gonna move. So we thought we we're gonna have to cut our losses, but we're good. So well, guys, you know how we told you we didn't have any peat moss. Well, we found it. So. That's really good. We just upped our chances of catching something by like a lot. Uh, you'll see why here in a second. Yeah, that's why we just upped our chances right there. Right there, yeah, that's why we use peat moss. I mean, animals can't even tell that trap's there. Well guys, I mean, I can't tell there's a trap there, can you guys? So, uh, definitely know the animals ain't gonna tell her. We're gonna bait her up, move to the next one. Okay guys, from right here where you're sitting, you're looking right down the trail. You can see one little teeny tiny hole right here. You guys can't even tell from here, but there is a snare right there. As you can see there now. Just one little hole, got both sides covered up, all the way around. The old kitties be walking through there. There's rocks, rock cliffs clear down the whole side of this hill right here. So uh, for snow on, we see tracks through here all the time. We've caught bobcats really close to here. Actually right there on that tree. I've caught a bobcat and a coyote. So uh, hopefully we could uh, catch one here. The reason why we didn't set it back on this tree is because another tree fell across where I normally set it. So I had to move her about eight feet. See you guys at the next one. Well guys, right here's the next spot right in this tree, right in the middle of the road. Yeah, they'll come right here, walking right by her. So, it's probably be another good set. Probably not as good as the last one, but... I've caught a bobcat 
right there on that other side of the tree. But uh, this side of the road wasn't here. It was just that main part of the road. And then he was walking up and down it, and we threw a foot trap there and ended up catching one. So, well, after we set that last snare, we actually seen bobcat tracks in the middle of the road. That was had to have been pretty fresh because I brought a buggy up here about a week and a half ago. So they couldn't have been too awfully old. Well, guys, we got uh, got another one out. Right here's the set. She's looking pretty good, honestly. Thinking we might catch something here. Hopefully a coon doesn't come in and catch. Cause this is a good cat set right here. So hopefully uh get something. Bring it back when we're at the next one. Okay guys, why it's sitting in the trap right there. There's one. There's a big tree up there. Three. Whenever the snow just melts off and the water's a little bit high in the creeks. The cats like to uh, cross these logs because they don't want to get in the water. So uh, I, we figured we'd set one right around the middle of all these logs where they'd be crossing. There's a rock, rocks right there. There's rocks clear along this entire hill. I've seen cat tracks clear across this hillside wherever there's snow on in the past couple years. So uh, we're hoping wherever they cross these logs right here, they smell that uh, bait in the hole over there and we get a, get us a cat so uh we'll come back to you guys here when we get this thing set hopefully this is a good one well guys there's the next set getting ready to bait her up and lure and uh it's a pretty good one right here I like this spot a lot pretty good one. hopefully we'll catch something in here but uh bring you guys back when we're going to the next one uh right here's some of the tools that we use a little bit homemade, welded on. We got the hammer to uh, beat the rod down in there, put the earth anchors down on. Here's the earth, earth anchors. You just take those, pinch them onto the back of the traps, this little tool. Then we got the digger. You can scrape everything off with it, hole to make your hole with it. And the best part is you never lose them. Spray paint them orange or else you will lose them. I promise you that. I've had that happen. Yes. Got all of our traps to use MB550s. That's all that we use. Regular size. That snares. one wasn't like very pretty. Snares in there. And where we use our snares, we just take a drill, screw, put it in. This little thing right here. Go like that. Screw it into a tree. Makes it a lot easier. We normally use wire that's all rusty and everything like that, so you can, uh, nothing could see them. You seen on that last one, he's five feet away from it and couldn't even tell that there's even a trap there, so. That's kind of our setup for this year. Oh, right, guys, here's the other set. This one looks real good too. Bait and lure are up. We're heading back. Okay guys, that's all that she wrote for uh, setting out traps here at my house. Uh, we might throw some more snares and footholds here and there because there's a lot of places we didn't. Like where we're sitting at right now, we're like half a mile without hardly any traps. So uh, the way that we're probably going to do this, we're going to post every single day. No matter what we catch, if we even catch anything, it might just be a short little video, but we just want to make keep you guys updated every single day of what's going on. If we set out another trap or if we take down take out a trap because there's nothing there but uh, we might expand our uh, places that we're going to set out traps there's a lot of people around us and like for us to set out some traps where they're at so uh for today that's it we'll see you guys uh tomorrow for checking these things